I know you showed me your affection But I was looking for perfection So I moved on and on and on to someone new As if no one knew what I was going through In a minute <laughs> i hope you guys are well um and welcome back to our uh, youtube channel um if you guys haven't liked already um please give it a like if you guys haven't subscribed then um if you guys want to see more content then maybe you should subscribe <laughs> up to you is that up to you up to you um but uh yeah welcome here and i hope you guys enjoyed this our last vlog i showed you guys our uh, pretty much our how our business where we held all our stock and things like that and pretty much where Lon it would be working where we held our stock and things like that and how we make our candles and all of that stuff so yeah um you would know that we actually lived in a slightly smaller house which was a little bit more cramped and um if you guys um want to go check out our last vlog you will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but um yeah, so this is a new vlog and um um I have a different background now so that we've made into our business room. So <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. But yeah, anyways, it's exciting and I'm happy and I'm happy that we are able to separate our business room from our kitchen and our living room. If you know, you know. But yeah. Um secondly uh what else have we been up to since i haven't been haven't been on in a while huh yeah but um yeah i do apologize for that you know just been enjoying life and um we do have a new member to the Thornet team and his name is no it's not a baby it's we have a new puppy <laughs> and his name is lando so he's um his breed is a coonhound He's a mixed breed, so coonhound and mixed with uh, Kelpie. So, yeah, I will insert a picture on here somewhere if you guys want, or you will see him in our in our next in our next videos from here on in. But yeah, so that's kind of the exciting things that are happening in um, the Planet Team life, <laughs> um, so to speak. But yeah. Uh, I think you can hear it from there. and um yeah so we have we have had a lot of um a lot of great things happening um you know uh behind the scenes we have been able to give our flonet logo which will be somewhere on the screen we've been able to give it a, a facelift and um yeah so it looks i really love the job that um that our designer put into making this new Flonet logo and she did an amazing job so I am so happy with it and I hope you guys are too <laughs> but yeah so that's that's an exciting yeah um and also we have um in regards to our my candle making I have been able to uh play around a little bit more with the my candle making and um i have now changed i have changed our um how we how i make my candles if you guys um uh are aware of how i made it before to how i make it now there is a slight difference to it and i thought i'd put a little bit more of design and creativity into making the candles so it can be more aesthetically pleasing and um yeah just a little bit of fun you know um, it's not often that you see candles that look like how I I make them, um, and especially buying it in store, you won't usually get candles like that. So I thought I'd um change it around and just put a little bit of a twist on there and just make it a little bit unique. So yeah, if you um don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> then um feel free to hop onto our website, which is uh, www. It'll be in the description below. 
but um yeah so i'll just show you a couple of um of what our um or here somewhere i'll show you a couple of pictures of what i'm talking about in regards to the candles that i I am making now <clears throat> but yeah so which is very exciting and you're probably and you're probably thinking okay so what is that at the back there <laughs> so i do have see i have new new things as well so i do have now um upgraded how i make my candles as well if you um i'll show you how i used to make it before and um, now this is how I make it now. So I have a, a wax melter, and that's I think it weigh it holds thirteen kilos, thirteen kilos of wax. So that's a yeah, that's been amazing. And I did purchase it before, but um, I wasn't unable to um, plug it into the plugs in, in our old apartment. Hi. The boys, are, leave it, no, leave it open. There you are. You wanna come say hi? Okay, come up. Oh, come here, baby. Say hi to everyone. So this is this is Lando. Hi. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so this is Lando. I don't know if you can see him, but <laughs> yeah, that's Lando. It's the new addition to our family. That's Serato making all that noise. Okay, so what I was saying, yeah, so that's kind of what's been going on with us. We've there's been so much more, so much more things that um, um we've changed, we've um, worked on better and um progressed. We've progressed since our previous since starting since starting our business. So so yeah, I'm thankful and grateful, you know, and I'm um yeah and i'm also you know thankful for um the opportunities that we have received and just things like that just the learning process has been amazing amazing <laughs> but yeah so i do have so um i'll now show you some of the melts that we have these um these melts are new um i've made them just slightly different to our normal six uh, six block melts. So this is the eight block melt that we do sell now on our website, and I have changed it. This is this is how it looks like. Let me just... That's how it looks like with our new logo on there. And we have changed our logo again since since this one. So that's how it looks like. It smells divine. It smells amazing. <laughs> oh man. This is the vanilla love spell. And um Yeah, so look at that. 
That is amazing. Look at that color. Just picture that melting on your wax burner. Beautiful. And then we have the Japanese honeysuckle, which is a slight white and purple, you know, beautiful, beautiful um, scent. So that's um, also some of the new scent um, scent melt collections that I have added to our our uh, melt collection, along with um, along with a couple more. Will I will be showing you guys um, as as we progress on. But yeah, um, also one that I, I wanted to share with you guys um, is an, a complaint that I have received from a customer. So uh, I want to share this with you guys. So um, this customer, she's, uh, she's never ordered from me before. So this was her first time ordering from us. This person's first time ordering from us. And um, she ordered, she ordered um like four of the Japanese honeysuckle scent so this one right here and she ordered a couple more of the other melt scents but yeah so um we sent her order over and then uh a few days later I think yeah I think a few days later I received an email and it was from this person this customer and they emailed me and they were not happy with their um they were not happy with their japanese honeysuckle scent and um what what i want you guys to know is any fragrance that i make but um the melts in particular so with these these melts that i made here in particular this collection so with the vanilla vanilla love spell so this vanilla love spell scent is um is a unique scent. So this scent here is I made this scent from scratch, and there's um um I'm, I don't know if there's any other scent out there that's like this, but um yeah I made this I made this up by myself if you know what I mean. So I there's two fragrances that go into making this scent here, and the vanilla love spell is just a name that I made up by myself. So it's not like a popular name out there, but it was a name that I actually made up. Like I mixed it and made it up on my own. So that's what I made because that's what I felt like this scent smelled like. And also it does share with you a little hint on um, what the fragrances that I do use go into this smell. If you know what I mean? So back to, so with this Japanese honeysuckle, um, scent or melt itself i've never um i've never i've never purchased the scent sorry with this with this japanese honeysuckle scent that i purchased i've never um i don't know how it smelled like i've never purchased a fragrance scent like that before so this scent was actually pretty new to me and um i have seen it on um I have seen it on other people, um, other stores, but I have never purchased it myself. So this was a foreign scent to me. Um, so when I purchased it from, when I pur purchased the fragrance oil, um, fragrance oil from Candle Supply, um, I purchased, I think, one liter, one liter of, it was just pure Japanese honeysuckle. And usually I do mix my scents, but with this one, because I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure of, um the scent like i wasn't sure if other people do mix it and match like mix it around but it was a popular it was a popular fragrance scent so i thought i'll just leave it as it is so this one is not mixed this is just plain fragrance um the fragrance that i received from my supplier and then this is the fragrance that i use to make the japanese honeysuckle um so yeah she she messaged me and she told me that she was not happy with the scent that she received. She said it does not smell like the Japanese honeysuckle that she purchases from her other suppliers or from her other from the other shops that she's purchased it from in the previous, like um in the past. And um, so what I did was 
I went back to the supplier, uh, which is candle supply, and I went and I went and I checked to see whether there were other Japanese honeysuckle scents, and um, there were, there were. And I sent her the picture of the Japanese honeysuckle that I purchased from my supplier. And I gave her the, I gave her their website. Her exactly what had happened that I um, made no changes to the scent itself. Um, I just used it purely as Japanese honeysuckle I gave and I sent her the picture I sent her the um the website of my of the candle supply that I purchased it from and um yeah and I usually um and I did you know apologize for her not enjoying or liking the the fragrance that she has received um but in regards to her wanting a refund that actually I did usually it's usually if it's not damaged or if it's not anything on our part then you you um you know we usually don't give out refunds but in this circumstance i did say to her um email her and i said look if you are not happy with it you can send it back you can send back the products to us on your own expense um and then we will refund you back your money because we can refund you back your money and I haven't received an email from her since. So, um, yeah, just, yeah. So if you guys have, you guys have any, like, things similar to that happen to you guys, you know, if you're a small business owner, you know, if you guys had anything similar happen to you, would like to, yeah, comment that down below, would like to read it. But that was kind of the incident that's happened to me. And, um, yeah. So she didn't get her refund, but then she didn't email us back um, anything else. So um, I'm guessing that she kind of she kind of clicked that, you know, it wasn't really anything I can do about it. That's the story time on the complaint that I've received from the customer in regards to our candle melts that she received. To our wax melt. I'll put it in the description below for you guys and I'll, I'm not sure where, what website I received from but I can give you guys something similar and I'll put it in the description below. So these are these dolls. Um, but that's it from us. That's it from um, me, us today. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing week. And um, stay safe and stay blessed, guys. Bye.